Hi Kinders, it's Miss Karen here. Today we're going to make three ingredient scones. And what you're going to need is a bottle of lemonade, some cream, and some self-raising flour. I'll put the ingredients on uh, the email and we'll start to make them and you're gonna be able to make yummy scones. Okay, so first of all, what we need is four cups, that's one, two, three, four, of self-raising flour. One, two, come on, three, and lucky last, four. Okay, and next. What we're going to need is 300 millilitres, so get out your measuring jar, of lemonade. It has to be white lemonade, and it's the bubbles in this lemonade that's going to make our scones rise. So I'm going to measure it up to 300 mils. You might want to get mum or dad or big brother or sister to help you with this. That's the lemonade. In goes the lemonade. Oh, fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. And then the next thing is 300 millilitres of thickened cream. Oh, creamy, creamy, creamy. Okay. That's that one. And in this one goes as well. And I'm going to try and get all of that, get my spoon and get all that creamy bits. Now what we need to do is give this mixture a good old stir and get all of the ingredients combined together. So try not to over stir it because you don't want to have flat scones. Oh, here we go. Starting to come together. Definitely starting to come together. Yummy, yum. Okay, this is the next bit, is the bit that you get your hands all dirty. So make sure that you wash them first of all. So this is what it's going to look like before we put it out onto this surface. So we're going to get some more flour. We're going to get some more flour and we're going to put it out onto our work surface. And the reason that we do this is so, the reason we do this is so the dough doesn't stick as much to the, to the floured surface. So we're going to get our, oh, oh it's like a big gloopy gloop, it's like Play-Doh almost. There it goes, there it comes. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is very messy. Okay. And I'm gonna scrape off these bits with a spoon just so we get as many scones as we can. Don't forget to help mom with the washing up after this, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna call, uh, do what we call kneading. So that means getting all of the, the dough together and giving it a gentle press is called kneading. Now don't do it too hard because we don't want those scones to be flat. Okay, I think we're all needed there. And what we need to do is very gently press out our mixture a little bit flat. Mums and dads, maybe about two centimetres thick, we need to have this. Okay, 
It's like a big pancake now. Big, big pancake. Then if you've got a scone cotter, you can use that. But I just use this glass because it's about the right size. And the trick is to just press it down once, not to twist it. Okay, so. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's like it's doing a little fluffy bun. Ooh. And we can go into the middle. Okay, so then we can take this dough and we can start laying these scones on our lined baking tray and another good trick is to place them very close together because they all help each other rise and they might stick together a little bit but that's okay because they'll pull apart when they come out of the of the oven going well here guys and I'm going to put them into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and it's going to be on 180 degrees okay And then we'll come back when they're out of the oven. So our 20 minutes has passed and we're going to take our scones out of the oven. And you can see they've all risen up lovely. And I whipped up the extra cream that was in my um, bottle of cream that I had. And once these cool down ever so slightly, we're going to have them with cream and jam. Or you can have them with butter and jam or just jam. Enjoy, kinders. Bye-bye.